Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera. So, hari ini kita akan uh, sambung lecture kita bertajuk counting. Counting kita tahu bahawa ia adalah pengiraan. Dia nampak mudah. Kalau kita sebagai manusia memang mudah sebab kita nak kira, kita nak susun, kita ada berapa tempat. So, kita nak masukkan macam congkak kan. Kita nak masukkan berapa guli dalam congkak. Ada berapa tempat dan kita kena masukkan satu-satu. Kalau kita sebagai manusia nampak mudah tapi kita nak guna kita akan guna benda ni dalam algoritm kalau ada melibatkan pengiraan dalam kamu punya programming. Okay, so this is the lecture content for today which is introduction, the basic counting, permutation, combination, and pigeonhole principle. Okay, as an introduction, combinatoric, the study of arrangement of object in an important part of discrete mathematics. Enumeration, the counting of object with certain properties is an important part of combinatoric. It's not only for the object, but it's also for the human, uh, because, for example, if we have six um, person, want to get the job position but the the job position is only for two person only but there's two uh, person who come to interview so we want to know how possible uh, how possibilities that they can get their job Okay, we must count object to solve many different type of problem. For instance, counting is used to determine whether there are enough telephone number or internet protocol address to meet one. Okay, this is an example of uh, combinatoric, what we call combinatorics, basic of counting. Okay, next is, okay, this is the sum rule. Okay. The sum rule for previously, uh, masa kita belajar satu kan, kita belajar satu campur satu, dua, dua campur dua, tiga. But here for the sum rule, if a first task can be performed in one ways, while the second task can be performed in two ways, we, we, uh, where none of set and one ways as the same as and two ways. Maksudnya dia tak bertinding. Maksudnya how many ways can we do the task? For example, jika kita ada... Uh, beberapa uh, kita ada set of buku dan kita ada dua rak so bagaimana cara kita nak susun buku-buku uh, tersebut kita tahu bahawa kita ada dua rak kita ada uh, contohnya kita ada 10 buku so kita susun tu kita tahu dia tidak bertindih maksudnya kita susun satu rak boleh muat lima je so kita tahu kita boleh susun lima campur kalau kita ada 10 buku, 5 campur 5 lah. Maksudnya kita ada 10. Ha, that's the sum rule. Maksudnya operation tu, dia, dia bukan uh, maksudnya ber, uh, bertindih. Maksudnya dia bukan berturutan juga. Okay. So, for the first example, this is the suppose that either member of mathematic faculty of or a student who is a major mathematic major from other faculty is chosen as representative to a UC committee. How many different choices are there for this representative if there are 37 members of mathematic faculty and 83 students of mathematic major? So, kita ada dua set of students. Tapi sekarang kita nak pilih Ah, uh, representative. How many representative can we choose? Okay, so we know that uh, one set ada 37. So, another set ada 83 students. So, berapa banyak cara, uh, berapa banyak pilihan yang kita boleh pilih uh, that's representative. Maksudnya, berapa banyak pilihan tu kita tambah lah. Maksudnya, 120 cara. Okay, for example number two, a student can choose a computer project from one of three lists. A student. Okay, so there is three lists of computer project, which is the first list content of 23 uh, title and second list content of 15 title and 19 li uh, third list content of 19 title of pro possible project respectively. So no project is on more than one list, meaning that there is no bertindan here. How many possible projects are there to choose from? Okay, so here we also use the sum rule where first project is 23, second project is 15, and third project is 19 list of project. So, a student can choose how many projects? 
So we have to sum it and we get 57 ways to choose a project. Maksudnya dia ada 57 pilihan. So dia boleh pilih yang mana-mana. Okay, this is what we call product rule. Okay, just now is sum rule. So here is product rule. Suppose that a procedure can be broken down into sequence. Maksudnya dia, dia, dia ada sequence of two tasks. If a procedure can broken into first stage and second stage, so ini berkait. And if there are n possible outcome for the first stage and if for each of this outcome can be uh, outcome there are n possible outcome for the second stage then the total procedure can be carried out in a designated order which is m times n ways ok maksudnya kat sini kita tengok contoh eh contohnya kalau kita ada 32 microcomputer in a computer center each microcomputer has 24 port how many different port to a microcomputer in the center are there so we want to know how many different port so the procedure of choosing a port consists of score of two tasks which First is picking a microcomputer, which is 32. Then is picking a port, which is 24, on this microcomputer. Because there are 32 ways to choose the microcomputer and 24 ways to choose the port, no matter which computer has been selected. The product rule show that, so we know that 20, 32 times 24. So we know that we have 768 ports. Yeah. Okay, so how many different bit string of length 7 are there? Okay, we know that in a bit string Okay, bit string consists of 0 and 1 number. So we know that we only have this become 2 2 two choice which is whether it is 0 or 1. So a bit string length, length of 7. So we know we have length of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we have 7 length. So how how many way uh, uh, how many different bit string uh, of length 7 are there? So kita nak tahu berapa banyak. So Kita, kita boleh letak so setiap uh, leg uh, maksudnya setiap ruang yang ada ni letak dua dua sebab bit string kan dua so dua 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 ok itu sebab lah dekat sini dia, dia dua kali dua kali dua sebab dia ialah sequen right so dua kali dua kali dua kali dua sampai lah sampai tujuh kali which is two power of seven which is one hundred and twenty eight different bit string of length 7 ok so here how many different vehicle plate number can be made if each plate contain of sequence of 3 uppercase the English letter followed by 3 digit no sequence number sequence of letter no sequence of letter up ok no sequence of letter are prohibited which is kita tak, tak kisah letter tu Yang depan A ke B ke C ke. Okay, so now we know that plate number. So, it's contain of 3. Okay, 3 uh, letter and it, it is uppercase, right? We know that uppercase, we have 26 choice. And 3 uh, digit. And digit, we know that our, our the possible digit there is uh, contain 10 number because digit is starting from 0 until 9. So, it's 10. Okay, so how many choice are there? There are 26 choice of English letter. So, this is 26 and this also 26 and this is 26. So, 26 times 26 times 26. But here is for the digit number which is 10 times 10 times 10. Become 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10. Okay. So, in total it is 17576000 possible vehicle plate number. 
Okay, so here, okay, it's quite long, this problem. Okay, so here, for example 6, the telephone numbering plan. Okay, North America numbering plan here. Okay, you can read this. Format of telephone number, North Africa telephone number in this plan consists of 10 digits, which are split into 3 digit code, a 3 digit code uh, and a 4 digit code. Uh, digit station code. Because of signaling consideration, there are certain restriction of some of this digit. Okay, so here it uh, okay for here. Um, okay for the all plan. All plan is N Y X N N X and X X X. All plan is N Y. Okay. Okay for here. Okay for all plan N Y N is contain. Okay to specify allowable, which is X denote a digit that can take only. 0 and 9. So, X contain of 10 digit. X is 10 digit. N is 2 to 9 which is it contain of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 8 digit. And Y contain of um, digit 0 or 1 which is 2 digit. So, all plan is N, Y, X and N, X and X. X, X, X. So we know that N just now is uh, N is 8 digit, right? So it is X times Y is 2 and oh, sorry. Uh, Okay, just to make it proper. Okay. When? Okay, uh, just not. Uh, N is 8, right? Okay. And Y is. Y, uh, y contain of 2 number. And X contain of. Uh, X contain of 10 number. Okay, so then Y, uh, N, N, X. N is just now 8 numbers. 8 and times 8. X is, X is 10. And x x x x which is ten times ten times ten times ten. Okay, so now we know that for the all plan, the possible number will be x times. X times 2 times 10 times 8 times 8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, so this is the possible way. Possible number for all plan. Which is, uh, this is the summary. Which is N, Y, X, X times 2 times 10. Then N, X, X is X times 10 times 10. And X, X, X. X is 10, 10, 10, 10. And this is a uh, uh, different number available, which is we have uh, 1, 000, 20, and 24,000 uh, thousand for uh, different number available. And for the new plan, which is 6,400,000. 
different number available. So how we count this is referring to n n n n x x. So we count the possible number. How many number are there? Then times all together. Okay. Next is Permutation and combination. Okay, for permutation is an arrangement of part of set with regard the order of the arrangement. Meaning that here the important thing we we uh, susun one ah uh, an object, but there is a order which is macam kita lumalari lah dia ada tempat pertama dia ada tempat kedua tempat ketiga. This is what permutation order is important. And next is combination. Combination is the selection of part of set of object without regard to the order in which object are selected. Okay, here is combination, which is we without the we not considering the order, which is we select three group. So, uh, is not there is no number one, number two, number three. This is what terminology look like. Okay, so the permutation just now is kita pentingkan order. Then combination kita tak pentingkan order. Dia tak ada susunan. Maksudnya dia tak ada peringkat-peringkat susunan. Okay, for an example. Okay, three class meet which is Lara, A, Zara and Zara. Ah, uh, lumba lari. So now. Ha, yang ni kita panggil permutation because one of them win, another come second and another last which is one winner and second number two and third person will be in number three. How many different arrangement are possible? This is how can we see the permutation part which is uh, whether Zara number one or Zara number one and we we change okay so there is six way so far so good but if we have 10 kit and 10 places takkan kita nak buat macam ni kan okay we know that just now is three person uh compete for the third, uh, three place right so we know that we have six possibility so if we have a lot of numbers and we have a lot of places so too many arrangement to list right okay so now this is what we have to know okay Lara, Zara and Sarah differently how can we arrange this the winner can be either the tree of kid okay if the first is Zara then second place either Sarah or La Lara right and and the third place if the second place is Sarah, then the third place will be Lara only. Okay, so it same goes if Sarah winner, then if Lara winner. In other words, each of three could come first, any of the remaining two could come second, and the one who is left come third. Okay, so kita boleh, kita boleh tulis juga dia macam ni. Okay. Okay, maksudnya kita ada tempat pertama, yang ni tempat pertama, yang ni tempat kedua dan yang ini tempat ketiga. Maksudnya possibility untuk dapat tempat pertama ni ialah ada tiga orang, kan? Okay, lepas tu uh, bila seorang dah dapat tempat pertama, maksudnya tempat yang kedua tinggal lagi dua orang. Okey, maksudnya bila seorang uh, yang tempat kedua dah ada lagi seorang, so ada seorang lagi akan isi tempat yang ketiga. Which is 3 times 2 times 1, right? Just now, sebab dia ada sequence, dia, dia balik kepada konsep uh, product rule just now. Okey, so here, 3 times 2 times 1, which is it become 6. Okey, a not of factorial. Okey, 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 3 factorial, right? Is equal to 3 factorial. So, the number of arrangement is 6. So, this is the how the possibility look like. 
Okay, so the answer will be C. Okay, so if there is 10 kids competing for 10 places, meaning that first place will be possibility yang seorang dapat first place tu 10, 10 ada possibility. Tapi kalau bila dah seorang dapat uh, tempat pertama, maksudnya tinggal lagi 9 orang untuk tempat kedua. Dan tempat ketiga akan jadi 8 orang. Tempat keempat akan jadi tujuh orang lagi akan uh, maksudnya berebut untuk tempat keempat. Okey maksudnya dia akan jadi 10 factorial sampailah satu tempat yang ke-10 tinggal seorang je lagi yang akan dapat tempat yang ke-10. Okey this is the number of permutation of 10 in one there is 10 factorial ways to arrange 10 places. Okey. Okey. What if 10 kit complete only for three medal. Again, any ten can get a call. Then remaining nine. Then remaining eight. So here, uh, so here, meaning that uh, we have only three places to compete, right? So we have ten uh, athlete. So first place will be counted complete of 10 person then if there is one person for first place remain nine person will be complete for the second place and the third place will be eight person which is um, the sum rule just now 10 times 9 times 8 okay so now this is the typo this is 8 it is not 7. So, equal 3 permutation of 10. Okay, or we can write it as 10 P3 or P10 or 3. So, we either can uh, calculate 10 times 9 times 8 or we use the formula of permutation which is we have 10 persons. So, we only have 3 places. So, 10 Minus 3 become 7. So, this is the uh, the formula for permutation. Or, we can use also um, we can use the uh, calculator Okay, uh, for example here, in your calculator, you can see here NPR which is permutation and NCR is combination. Okay, you can find it in your calculator. Okay. Oh, back to our lecture note just now. Okay. So, all the value uh, should be the same. Whether you want to use calculator or you want to uh, calculate 10 times 9 times x or 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial. So, the, the final value must be same. Okay. So, Let's assume that top 3 runner of 10 get to represent their school in a district competition. So, top 3. So, there is no order here. Okay, top 3. No order here. So, we know it is... Okay, just permutation just now is 10 times 9 times x, right? Okay, but here we want to find 3 person regardless their order which is number one or number two or number three okay so now how many choice are there so new solution here is okay we want to find three so it become combination so here we have this is the formula for combination okay this is the formula for combination 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 3 factorial. So we want to uh, want to choose 3 student from for top 3 runners just now. Okay, so 
this is the formula which is 10 factorial times 3 factorial or this is the general formula or you just can press your calculator we from the 10 students just now we want to choose 3 students as a representative for the school okay so this is how to, to calculate the combination okay okay here a group content n woman and n uh, and men and and woman how many ways are there to arrange these people in a row if the men and woman alternate okay meaning that men woman so kita tusun dia secara berselang kan so for example n is equal to 3 meaning that 3 men and 3 women and let denote men and woman here so we want to to susun them secara berselang so, man, woman, man, woman. So, kita ada. Ha, macam mana secara berselang tu maksudnya. How many ways? How many ways? Okay, so, berapa banyak. Dan kita kena ingat bahawa. Even though there is man, woman, man, woman here. There is only two row but. We have to consider different person. Maksudnya lelaki pertama akan jadi orang pertama. Kedua perempuan. Dan lepas tu kita akan buat susunan baru lagi. So how many susunan yang kita perlu buat untuk susun lelaki dengan perempuan ni secara berselang. So sekarang kita tahu bahawa ha, dia ada men yang pertama kita nak susun berselang kan. Kalau yang pertama tu lelaki. Yang pertama ni lelaki, yang kedua ni perempuan. Maksudnya kita ada tiga, tiga. So kalau yang ni tempat yang ketiga ni lelaki, dia, dia tinggal ada dua orang je lelaki. lelaki sebab yang pertama, ha, seorang tu dah duduk kat depan kan. Okey, lepas tu perempuan juga akan ada tinggal lagi seorang. So, ha, maksudnya tinggal, ha, maksudnya ada dua pilihan perempuan dekat sini. Lepas tu yang tempat yang ketiga akan ada satu pilihan lelaki dan satu pilihan perempuan sahaja. Okey, so sekarang. Ialah ada dua pilihan sama ah, lelaki atau perempuan. Ni kita ada dua pilihan lelaki atau perempuan lepas tu. Kita ada dua pilihan lepas tu ni ialah susunan tempat duduk mereka tadi. So how can we calculate it? We calculate it by 2 times okay we settled all in the in the bracket. So we found that Okay, this is the general formula but if, if you don't remember this, you still can count if you understand the basic concept of uh, combination or uh, uh, permutation. Okay, so this is the final answer. Okay, you can count it, the total, how many. So please use calculator to find this total. Very Okay. So next is, suppose that a salesman has to visit a different city. He must begin his trip in a specified city. But he can visit the other seven city in order he wishes. How many possible order can salesman use when visiting this city? Okay, yang ni, maksudnya sekarang kita ada salesman ni. So dekat salesman ni, dia ada berapa city kat situ dia cakap? Dia ada 8 city right? So kita ada 1, 2, 3, 4 Alah Sorry Kita ada 8 kan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Ok kita ada 8 city So sekarang ni Seorang ni he must begin his trip in a specified city maksudnya kita ada satu city ni yang memang kita kena mulakan maksudnya dia ada satu dia maksudnya dia ada satu pilihan city kat sini maksudnya satu dia akan pergi maksudnya satu ni memang tetap kena pergi tapi yang lagi tujuh ni he can visit the other seven in any order oh, maksudnya dia ada order kat situ kan in any order he wishes. Maksudnya sekarang untuk tujuh tempat ni. So untuk tempat yang kedua kita ada tujuh uh, pilihan city. Kita nak pergi mana-mana. Uh, Okey lepas tu tempat yang ke ketiga kita ada enam. Lepas tu tempat yang ke ni kita ada lima. 
4 ada 4 pilihan city sebab dah pergi kan 1, 2, 3 ni so tinggal 4 je lagi nak pergi so kat sini ada 3 pilihan city lepas tu 2 pilihan city dan 1 pilihan city so sekarang kita tahu kita punya value ialah 5, 0, 4, 0 sebab kita hanya consider sebab 7 ni je yang dia boleh pergi ke mana-mana tetapi 1 ni mesti mulakan so it is 1 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so it become 5050 ways for the salesman to choose his tool tool ok so now uh, this is the for instance the salesman wish to find pass between city ok so sekarang dia kena cari lah lepas dia tahu uh, ways berapa banyak ways uh, berapa banyak cara tu dia boleh Tahu the minimum distance. Okay. Lepas tu. Dia boleh cari juga. Uh, total distance of possible pass. Okay. So example 9. How many ways are there to select 5 player from 10 member um, tennis team to make a trip to a match to another school. Ni kita faham bahawa kita ada 10 um, member tennis team. So, dalam team tu kita ada 10 member. Tetapi kita nak pilih 5 player saja. Tapi ha, kat sini kita nampakkan soalan ni dia tak ada order pun. Tempat pertama ke tempat kedua ke tak ada. So, kita tahu ini akan guna combination which is 10 C 5. Okay. So, kita ada 252 ways. Okay. So, sekarang kita kena tahu bila kita baca soalan kita kena tahu ini combination ke permutation ke or just a sum rule ke macam mana. Okay. So, Example 10, a group of 30 people have been trained as astronaut to go on the first mission to Mars. How many ways are there to select a queue of 6 people to go on his mission? Okay, assuming that all crew members have the same job. Okay, so kita ada 30 orang. Lepas tu kita nak select 6 people only to go on mission. So it's also combination because regardless, kita tak, kita, kita tak consider the the order here. So, 30 C6. So, press your calculator, you will get this total number. Okay. What is the difference between permutation and combination? Ordering is important for permutation but there is does not matter order for combination. Uh, this is the formula for permutation and formula for combination. And regularly and is always permutation is greater than combination ok for the pigeon hole principle ok this is the definition ni macam kita uh, pigeon hole kan kita tahu peti surat kan contohnya kita ada peti surat so kita ada if k positive integer and k plus 1 or more object kita ada k tempat tetapi kita ada k plus 1 object maksudnya kita ada Uh, objek yang lebih daripada kita punya box tu kan so kita akan ada at least one box containing two or more objek macam ni lah ok akan ada satu box yang akan ada dua atau tiga jadi kita konsep ni kadang-kadang kita guna dekat dalam industri manufacturing which is we have to slot uh, the chip or you want to slot the 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 things into store how many box are there uh, kita guna benda ni sebab kadang-kadang kita benda tu terlampau banyak so kita kena tahu the basic concept of pigeon hole principle ok this is also what we call the pigeon hole principle maksudnya ini still betul juga maksudnya dia at least two tu ada more than at least uh, satu kotak akan ada more than two object Okay, still betul. Tapi ada juga kotak yang kosong. Still accepted as pigeonhole principle. And this is also. Okay, at least two tu ada, uh, ad, at least satu tempat tu, at least ada dua objek yang akan berkongsi. So, here, yeah, ada tiga objek yang berkongsi kat satu tempat. Still accepted. Okay, so now, this is the example. Among of any group of 367 orang oh, maksudnya kita ada 367 orang so there must be at least 2 with the same birthday right because there only 366 hari maksudnya 
kan kita satu hari uh, satu tahun ni kira tahun lompat lah juga ni maksudnya ada sampai 29 Februari 366 hari ok so sekarang kita ada a group of people 367 hari maksudnya akan ada uh, mungkin akan ada dua orang yang lahir pada hari yang sama dan ada juga macam konsep yang macam pigeon hole ni kan ada juga tarikh yang tak ada orang pun uh, bersedia di masa tu betul tak ok so akan ada mungkin tiga orang yang berkongsi bersedia pada hari yang sama ok atau mungkin dua orang yang kongsi at least at least two with the same birthday Okay, that's the terminology. The example for pigeonhole principle. Okay. Next is, okay, if we have 27 English word. Okay, so sekarang kita ada uh, 27. Maksudnya kita ada dekat tangan kita, contohnya kita ada 27 pilihan number. Tetapi kita tahu bahawa English uh, letters tu ada 26 je kan? Maksudnya kita tahu bahawa dekat sini ada dua nombor yang akan sama. So, because it is 27 English word. Okay. So, it, it is an object are placed into K box. Then there is at least one box containing at least an over K object. And ni ialah kita punya objek. Contoh tadi yang burung burung mempati tu. And kita ada bekas dia ada tujuh uh, ada K. So, N over K object. Okay, so this is an example. Okay, kita ada minimum number of students required in a discrete mathematics class to be sure at least six will receive the same grade. Okay, maksudnya kita kita nak tahu minimum number of student. So, sekarang at least six will receive the same grade if there are five possible grades. Okay, kita ada five possible grades. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, the minimum number of needed to ensure that at least 6. Okay, so now we know that the uh, at least 6 and n over 5 which is how many student of this kid mathematics required here. And there is 5 grade. Okay, so kita nak ada at least 6 tu berkongsi grid yang sama. At least 6. Okay, the smallest integer can be 5 times 5 times uh, plus 1. Kenapa 26? Kalau kita kira 6 kali 5, uh, kalau kita buat periasa kan 6. Uh, kalau student kita tahu 6, dia nak cari N tu berapa? 6 kali 5, 30 kan? Tapi, that's not the minimum number. Okay, so kita tahu kita ada kat sini kan? Contoh eh. Kat sini kita ada uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 possible grade, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, kita nak at least 6 will receive the same grade. So, contohnya yang dapat at least 6 ni, yang dapat E ni ada 6 orang kan? So, at least 6. So, yang lain ni mungkin... Ni ya 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 okey. So sekarang kat sini ha macam ni. Maksudnya at least 6 will receive the same grade. Kita nak minimum number of student. Okey. So at least 6 okey. So sekarang kita tahu bahawa yang lima tempat ni lagi ialah 5 dan yang satu tempat ni aja 6. Sebab kita nak minimum. Dia boleh juga 30 tu. Maksudnya kat sini ada 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 kan. Tetapi kita nak ada satu tempat je yang 6. Tapi yang lain ni uh, dia punya possible number 5 lah. Kita tak boleh lah nak letak uh, 3 sebab dia nak minimum number. Okay at least 6. Okay, same, the same grade. Okay, so yang ni tinggal 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Okay, if you only have 25 student, it is possible for 3 to be 5. 3 to be 5 who have received each grade so that no 6 student have received the same grade. Uh, so, ni kalau 25 student je yang dia ambil kira kan. So, 26 student ni ialah the minimum number of student needed to ensure that at least 6 student will receive the same grade. 
Okay, so that's all for now. Okay, so next chapter is relation and please do your tutorial for counting which is problem 1, problem 2 and problem 3. So, happy Hari Raya. Selamat Hari Raya. Maaf saya batin. Okay, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera.